Good morning. Saint Scholastica, sister of Saint Benedict, consecrated her life to God from her earliest youth. After her brother went to Monte Cassino, where he established his famous monastery, she took up her abode about five miles from that of Saint Benedict, who it appears also directed his sister and her nuns. She visited her brother once a year, and as she was not allowed to enter his monastery, he went in company with some of his brethren to meet her at a house some distance away. These visits were spent in conferring together on spiritual matters. On one occasion, they had passed the time as usual in prayer and pious conversation, and in the evening they sat down to take their reflection. Saint Scholastica begged her brother to remain until the next day, but Saint Benedict refused to spend the night outside his monastery. So she took this to God in prayer, and a furious thunderstorm burst so that neither Saint Benedict nor any of his companions could return home. They spent the night in spiritual conferences. The next morning they parted to meet no more on earth. Three days later, Saint Scholastica died, and her holy brother beheld her soul in a vision as it ascended into heaven. He sent his brethren to bring her body to his monastery and laid it in a tomb that he had prepared for himself. She died in about the year 543, and St. Benedict followed her soon after. Her feast day is today, Friday, February 10th. Our concert choir will visit and sing at this very monastery at Monte Cassino in a few days. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, who opened the ears of the deaf and helped the blind to see, you helped Saint Scholastica to love you above all earthly things. Through her example, may we turn away from our own selfishness and turn to you in prayer with all of our concerns, always trusting in your goodness. We ask this in your name, Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning, Lions. I'm Nick Zanella. And I'm Daniel Joyce. The, today is Friday, February 10th, 2023, and it is a day six. Here are our morning announcements. Please continue to focus on academic excellence. February is a short month of school because of winter break, so be sure to keep up on your assignments, quiz, and test makeups, as well as communication with your teachers. Kindly remember the following. No eating or drinking in the classrooms, water only. Please do not be in the hallways without a pass. Please bring a pass if you will be late to X block. No sweatshirts. All French classes will go to quiet study today. NHS will offer tutoring in the AOC during X1 and X2. Be sure to take advantage of this opportunity, especially because this is a short month. It's time for flower power. Show your friends, teachers, and colleagues how important they are with something as simple as a flower. The junior class members of the student council will be taking orders for red and pink carnations to be distributed on Valentine's Day this coming Tuesday, February 14th. The cost is one for $3 and two for $5. Yesterday afternoon, an excellent effort was displayed at the Social Justice Fair highlighting senior projects. Thanks to Mr. Lynch and the senior class for your display of lion spirit through Christian charity. All sophomores will attend their retreat at Christ the King today. Special appreciation to Ms. Vosey, Coach Adams, Ms. McPherson, and Deacon Peter for planning this opportunity. Everybody dance now! The sophomore class is hosting the winter dance tonight in the cafeteria from 7 to 10. A fun-filled Friday night is planned. Unfortunately, no tickets will be sold at the door. The Echo community will be holding their first three-day retreat on March 31st. They are looking for team leaders and participants. If you are interested, please stop by the main office and see Ms. Val today. Here are sports announcements. Tomorrow, Saturday, February 11th, the girls hockey team has their senior night at 5 o'clock. Be sure to join in on the excitement. Now over to Leo for the tour of Italy. So, Mr. Fish, I hear you guys are going to Italy next week. What are your travel plans? Well, thanks for asking. We're going to be heading out of Logan on the 16th and going to Munich, Germany. That's our layover stop. Um, that'll actually be Friday morning and then 
traveling through Friday a little bit, we then travel from Munich, Germany to Rome. Upon arrival to Rome, we'll do a, a short tour of Rome, check into the hotel, but our first big day is Saturday, where we'll travel north to Monte Cassino, the, ab the abbey, uh, the monastery, I should say, of St. Benedict, uh, where St. Benedict lived and St. Scholastica visited. Um, we'll stay there, we'll sing there for a little while, visit and tour, and then we'll head um, to the naval base at Naples, where we'll sing for the five o'clock mass with our naval officers and families um, in Naples. Then we'll return back to Rome. On Sunday, we will do some touring, um, but the big thing on Sunday is we will sing at the Vatican at the chair of St. Peter for their six o'clock mass. So that's probably the most exciting single stop um, at, at St. Peter's Basilica. And uh, then on Monday, we tour, we tour ancient Rome, and we um, tour the Vatican Museums, the Sistine Chapel, and St. Peter's Basilica, and we will also go on what's known as the Scavi Tour, which is underneath the Basilica, where we'll get to actually see the bones of St. Peter. It's a pretty amazing thing, and it was a, an excavation undertaken during World War II. Pretty incredible. Okay, we will also have on Monday an early um, mass, unsung mass, where we're just quiet at the tomb of St. John Paul II at the Vatican. Then on Tuesday, we'll be going to Assisi where St. Francis um, lived and worked, and we'll sing at mass there. A tour, obviously, we'll tour Assisi. And then um, on Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, February 22nd, we'll have a papal audience. So we'll get to hopefully be very close to the Pope. Um, so that's kind of exciting. And then we'll have um, a um, concert that night presented um, by the choir at the um, Basilica of St. Agnes. And then on Friday, excuse me, Thursday, we'll be going to the Papal Basilicas of Rome. I have to check my itinerary. Um, we will also celebrate Mass at the Basil Basilica of St. Uh, Mary Major. All of these Masses are Masses where we sing, and we'll have a big uh, coming home party. And then on day nine, Friday the 24th, we return to Rome. Um, it's an incredible opportunity to sing in some of the most beautiful places, literally where the apostles walked. I hope you have a nice trip, Mr. Fish. Now back to you. That sure sounds like an exciting tour to Italy. Thanks, Leo and Mr. Fish, for all that info. We'll be praying for you as you travel. Have, Have a, a roaring, roaring day. day.